Right, guys, uh, welcome to today's live stream between the Sharks and the Lions again. It should be one of those games again. Uh, we lost during the week by 54 points to seven to them. And uh, yeah, a lot of lot has changed since then. It's going to be a whole new Sharks lineup. So I don't know if it's a stronger team or a weaker team. Uh, let me know in the thoughts what you guys think uh, of the Sharks side today. Uh, we are going to go through the team lineup in just a little bit. Just quickly want to set everything up for you guys. So, yeah, it's been uh, a dreadful week here for uh, the Sharks going down by 54 to, to 7. Um, it's one of those games that you really don't want the Sharks uh, to play again. But again, uh, the Lions need to have some practice games. And... Uh, they get the opportunity again today. Just going through some interesting facts today. Portugal absolutely hammered the Netherlands by 61 to uh, 28 in uh, the Rugby Europe Championship game, which is quite a high score considering what is going on. Then England are leading currently 70 points to 14 against Canada. Another massive score, maybe 100 points, could be coming on here for them. So, yeah, let's get the Sharks one ready for you guys just to get the scoreline ready. And uh, then we will discuss this game in detail with everybody. Right, there we go. That should be on now. Um, let me just fix that real quickly. Uh, there we go. So, the Sharks versus the British and Ice Lions take two, basically. Are you guys excited for this one? We've got the poll going on uh, the channel as well 33 votes saying that uh, the lions is going to win this game by quite a margin uh 10 well three percent says the lions by 10 15 percent the lions by 20 then 45 says the lions by 30 plus and then 36 percent says uh the sharks for an upset so let me know in the comment section who you guys think is going to win this one don't have much hope for the Sharks today, given uh, the lineup that we have given for today's game as well. Um, I guess it's probably a little bit weaker than the one that played on Wednesday. So let's go through that lineup real quickly uh, for you guys. Uh, before we go ahead, let's hear what Albert has to say. It says, in the old days uh, when touring teams played against provincial side, all the bots were available. I think the only way our top players will be ready for the test series is if they get quality play time. And then uh, Albert also says, even with COVID, I think we are missing a trick by not giving our top players a chance to play against the British and Ice Lions uh, to develop. Then Sparrow Meadowvillis says hi, and then Tristan Erasmus says Lions for the win. So pretty much obvious that uh, uh, most people will be going for the uh, Lions today, just basically based on the fact that they beat us 54-7 during the week. Then uh, Sparrow Maravilla says, I think it's going to be a closer, but the Lions will win it. So looking at the Sharks lineup real quickly, um, Anthony Foreman, Martin Spotkita, Banner Cock, Murray Costa, Takir Abrams, Lionel Cronier, and Jaden Hendrickson. So the only survivors from the starting lineup is Vanna Cock, um, Takir Abrams, and Jaden Hendrickson, who they said had a pretty damn good game, but I... I beg to differ a little bit from what uh, they had to say about Jaden. I thought that his delivery to the back was really slow. And when Grant Williams came up, it was a lot better. But hey, I'm just a, a rugby YouTuber. I'm no, I'm no uh, expert when it comes to this stuff. So uh, Mana Sport Heater back for, well, starting basically, basically his first start for the Sharks coming from uh, the Blue Bulls, the youngster. So yeah, no Kevin Bosch today makes sense given how poorly he played on Wednesday. I would not have had him in the side. And it's good to see that Sean Everett has come to his senses regarding that. Um, Sparrow says, uh, Vanacock carried the Sharks on Wednesday, which I do believe he had an absolutely fantastic game there. So, yeah, let's see how Lionel Cronier fares today. He was pretty solid for the Kings before he went overseas. So, hopefully he can show that same kind of form that he showed then. And uh, then it would be a pretty good buy. But I just can't understand with the Sharks having the money that they've got, 
signing old players uh, that I wouldn't say past their prime, but really not international quality, like the likes of uh, Lionel Cronier today, and then even Manus Spotkitter and Anthony Pullman. Then in the forwards, uh, we've got Nechuko Machuna, the youngster, looking like a really good prospect for the future. Then Karen van Furen gets a chance at number two today. Vian Herbs at number three. Leroux Roots back at the Sharks as well with Renil Hichu's uh, lock combination. Dylan Richardson needs to play, have a big one today. He looked really sharp when he came off the bench for the Sharks in, in that Wednesday or midweek game, if we can say it like that. And then Pila Gumedi and Pepsi Putelezi. Now, Putelezi didn't have a terrible game on Wednesday, so he gets another crack at it today. And hopefully he can deliver something really good today as well. Achilles says, hi, Guru Sensei, uh, Barry Green. You come early, Guru. <laughs> yeah, no, look, uh, just a build-up to this game. Nothing else to do. So, yeah, just uh, enjoying the chat, going through the, the lineups and thinking or giving my two cents on the game and hearing what you guys have to say as well. Then uh, Sparrow Maravilla said, uh, do you think that all three tests are going to be played in Cape Town? Because I went on the Supersport app and even Warren Gatlin think it will because of Joburg's third wave. So, yeah, I do think that the, the free test will be taking place in uh, Cape Town. We are playing, uh, well, South Africa A are playing on Wednesday. So, it will be interesting to see how they fare as well leading up to that test matches against uh, the British and Irish Lions. Then, Gert Nutzer says, hello, Guru from Vietnam. Uh, thank you for bringing the game to us in Vietnam. I'm a big Shark supporter. No problem, Gert. Uh, like I said, I really enjoy doing this and uh, looking forward to this one, although... As a Shark supporter, I'm, I'm kind of worried because uh, having lost in the midweek by 54 to 7 and not playing our strongest side available today, we might end up taking even a bigger beating. But although we didn't play too uh, terribly on Wednesday, the score may be a little bit too high uh, according to the way we played. And Albert says, uh, Pink Fundamental will score a few tries again for the Lions. He is looking in great form. So, yeah. Luckily, no Josh Adams today. That guy has been on fire. But now we have to deal with uh, Duan van Amerwe today. Hopefully, the likes of uh, Marne Spotgieter will keep him intact. But uh, Takir Abrams moved to the left wing for today's one. So that means that he will be uh, trying to challenge the likes of Anthony Watson, who's also a strong runner. So either way, I think the shots might be in a little bit of trouble. Let's quickly uh, go and have a look through the Lions side for today. Liam Williams back at 15, uh, didn't play last week. So he was in the initial starting lineup on Wednesday, but because of that scare, uh, they didn't play. So Liam Williams at 15 today will be looking to get a place in that uh, lineup, but it's going to be hard to, to take uh, on uh, the likes of uh, Stuart Hawk for that 15 jersey. Then Anthony Watson gets a go. Elliot Daly at 13 again today. He looked pretty sharp in that position on Wednesday. So you'll be looking to build on that and maybe get a, a start. But I doubt that he will uh, get ahead of uh, Robbie Henshaw or uh, Owen Farrell today. So Chris Harris comes in at 12 with Duan van Amara at 11. Dan Bigger and Gareth Davis. The uh, scrum off and fluff combination for this one. They know each other very well and they should gel together really well in that uh, 9 and 10 position. Um, Johannes Spain says 150 point different today. And in uh, Sparrow Maravillas, both the Lions and Shark uh, score did not reflect on how they played. The Sharks just made uh, really silly mistakes. Then Achilles says, my prediction is Sharks win by 75 to 95 points. I don't see British and Lions being able to do anything against the Sharks. Lions very weak. Sharks going to destroy them. That would be perfect in a, in a perfect world, eh, Achilles? <laughs> and he adds an LOL, so just a joke there. Albert says uh, the Lions by 40. I think uh, we might end up with the Lions by 50 plus today, but we'll have to wait and see. Then uh, for the forwards, for the Lions today, Rory Sutherland, Jamie George, Tatch Furlong, Maro Itoje, uh, Johnny Hill, Tatch Burn, Hamish Watson, and Jack Conan. So be very 
be very skeptical about this forwards uh, today because this could be close to the starting line up for this line side when they take on the spring box. The likes of Jamie George, Thatch Furlong, Maro Itoje and Thatch Burn, as well as Hamish Watson. I said this a little bit earlier this week that I think Hamish Watson is starting to have the same kind of effect that uh, the likes of Heinrich Rousseau had for the 2009 Springboks when uh, the Lions toured South Africa that year. So, Amos Watson, an absolute beast so far for the Lions. So, uh, and yeah, he should definitely stamp off his authority today. Let's quickly go and have a look at uh, a little bit more of these. Uh, Mindless says, uh, well, I go with it by 19 points and then Barry why Sharks doing the rematch? So I've no, I've no idea why they've scheduled this. Uh, it's probably just to give the Lions a little bit more game time. Um, I'm totally against this game being played today. I just see no use in this. Uh, the Sharks had the chance on Wednesday and they really disappointed. So, yeah, I don't know. Sparrow Maravilla says uh, Mario is out and uh, Courtney Laws comes in. Okay, is that fun? So Nabil Stewart... Uh, is this the best Sharks team without the Bokka? No, it is not. It is actually, how can I describe this, Nabil? It's basically a second string on a second string. Because Wednesday teams was basically the second stringer. And then uh, today they are resting some of those players as well as part of a rotation policy like uh, Sean Everett mentioned earlier this week. I'm not buying that at all. And then uh, Barry Green says, is it because they lost on Wednesday and having another crack? I don't know. I don't see anything good coming from this, Barry. I just uh, really feel that this game is one that shouldn't have taken place today. But uh, like I said, maybe the Sharks surprise us and they do better than they did. Um, Johan De Ploy says, I really hope we can score more than uh, one today. We actually had the opportunity to score a couple of tries last week. We know Pepsi uh, put the lazy knocking that ball on with an open try line beginning and then probably a few other opportunities as well where uh, we could have scored with the likes of uh, where Vanna, Vanna Koch broke through and Money Libok knocked the ball on with an open try line as well. So there is plenty of opportunities. They just need to start using those opportunities and getting it all done. Those little mistakes need to disappear today. Um, Achilles says, Guru, does the Sharks athlete actually have a good dead players? I mean, a good B team, or do they lack players? Absolutely. Um, we uh, definitely have uh, a lack of depth in, in our side. We don't have quality fly off at the moment, although we've got a couple. We don't have high quality players, even at fullback, also. Anthony Foreman and uh, Manny Livock is no Percy Montgomery or Stefan de Blanche, you know, and then uh, on the wings, Van der Kock and, well, Van der Kock actually played really well on that right wing, so a little bit uh, surprised that they moved him to outside centre today, but yeah, we definitely need some bigger names in the Sharks side if we want to compete in that Rugby United Championship as well. Then Albert Twitter says, Bookies give Sharks 81-1 to, uh, to win. And that's a massive one. So if you want to make money and there's a massive upset, that is the way to go. Um, Nabil Stewart says, so they could have played against parties rather. Well, I would have said maybe a combined team of the Pumas or the Griquas and the Cheetahs together. That would have been a decent uh, team to field as well. I wouldn't say they would have had a different result. That would have been a decent squad as well. Very often what shocks like though. I will bring that up again real quickly for you. I have gone through it, but we can go through it again. So Anthony Foreman, Marnus Potkiter, uh, Vanna Kock, Mari Costa, Takir Abrams, Lionel Cronier, and Jaden Hendricks uh, with uh, Takir Abrams, Jaden Hendricks, uh, and uh, Vanna Kock being the only survivors in that starting lineup with Anthony Foreman that did have a bit of play in that second half. So no real firepower in this back line. Maybe Lionel Crenia can do some magic with Jaden Hendrickson. That Kira Abrams can maybe have a hit down the middle. Um, Vanna Kock can bash it up a little bit. But apart from that, I don't really see any game breakers in the Sharks lineup. And then in the forwards, uh, Nipchaku, uh, Machuna, Karen Van Furen, both lively players that can really take the ball up nicely. 
and maybe have a sprint and steal some ball on the ground. Then uh, we got the likes of Ian Haps, Lerudut, Renil Rigu, who's not high quality players. They're quality players, but they're not international quality players at the moment. Dylan Richardson, we all know he's worth mentioning in the side, a very lively and firing player. Maybe he can step up a little bit and try and neutralize the likes of uh, Hamish uh, Watson today. And Prelim uh, Kumeri and Pepsi Butelezi also there. We see, saw Pepsi Butelezi struggle a little bit against the high, big name, quality players of the Lions. So, yeah, it's a, it's a little bit uh, awkward. Then on the bench, Dan Uesta, NJ Majola, Kucha Machuna, Timbalani, Boli, John Relabuskatni, Cameron Wright, Buddha Chamberlain, and Jeremy Ward. Again, I don't see any real game breakers in this side. Hopefully, Cameron Wright can uh, bring a little spark as well on the bench. But furthermore, Timbalani Boli has been a great uh, bash up ball carrier for us in the Curry Cup. But uh, the problem against these uh, big boys from the Lions is that uh, he goes in too high and tends to give away the ball in contact. So, yeah, not a lot to make off this side. Then uh, again, going through the Lions side, Liam Williams, Anthony Watson, Elliot Daly, Chris Harris, Tuan Panamarva, Dan Bigger, Gareth Davis, then Rory Sutherland, Jamie George, Tatch Furlong, right, so Murray Doge is out, so Courtney Laws comes in, Johnny Hill, Dutch Burn, Amy's Watson, and Matt and then on the bench, we've got Ken Owens, Wynn Jones, Carl Sinclair, Sam Simmons, Tom Curry, Connor Murray, and Finn Russell. So how the Sharks is going to defend that, I'm not sure, but we'll have to wait and see how it goes. Um, Minder says, I agree, game today shouldn't have been on. Just pray both teams are at full strength for the test matches and all involved stay safe and well. And then uh, Sparrow asking, uh, what do you think of Greg is winning the rivalry of Dustin uh, Poirier? So I think uh, maybe Conor McGregor can pull it off. Uh, Achilles says, I hope Dustin wins. He absolutely despises uh, o uh, Gre uh, Conor McGregor. And then uh, Achilles says, oh, thought so. Uh, it makes sense why Sharks struggle without their bocker. Matt Havoc says, uh, hi guys, hopefully the Sharks can have a better performance today. And then uh, Nabil Stewart says, yes, Guru, that would have been uh, been better. But these players need to put their hands up, which is true. Um, look, there's youngsters in the Sharks side that can probably make a difference uh, in the future. But for me, getting back guys like Anthony Foreman, Cameron Wright, Lionel Cronier, Leroux Ritsu, like I say, it's quality players, but they're not international quality. And uh, I'm sure the Sharks could have done better signings with the kind of money that's available to the club now. So really not sure what is going on, but uh, we'll have to wait and see. Now, Bill Stewart says, Renil Hichu is good. I, <laughs> well, basically didn't rate uh, Renil Hichu when he came to the Sharks, but after a couple of games, he's done really well for them. And uh, he's starting to grow as a player. So I have to agree with you then. Nabil asking, is the captain anything worth? Vanakok for me as well has been a little bit, oh, well, not Vanakok. He's not the captain today. But Pepsi Butelezi is somebody that could potentially turn into a really good player. I'm just worried that they're going to try and hype him up the way they have done with Sia Kulisi in the past. And that could lead to the player not uh, developing the right way, you know, maybe getting pushed a little bit too early. In Bad TV says, even in Guru, don't see any reason for this game. Apart from the British and the IS Lions, maybe need more game time. And that's exactly what it is. Uh, another chance for the British and the IS Lions to actually uh, populate the Sharks here today. So I'm expecting a bigger score than Wednesday, but uh, hopefully the Sharks can prove us wrong as a big Shark supporter. Matt Havoc says Lions are extremely lucky that they aren't playing the ball. So that game can still go on. Um, I think they might be playing that the game just before the Springboks actually played in. So that would be an interesting one as well. The Bulls game would have been interesting if it wasn't cancelled. So hopefully it's not cancelled, it's postponed. So hopefully we will see something of them. Johannes Spain says, Ruan van der Merwe, uh, men of five tries. So you're referring to Tuan van der Merwe there. 
And Johan Deploy says, uh, when are you going to do more rugby challenge videos? So that will be coming real soon. My computer crashed again, so I had to download it all over again, and I have to download the mods as well again. So that will be coming real shortly, uh, Johan. Achilles uh, says we should get Duan van der Merwe to play for the Bok uh, and buy him to play for the Bulls or Sharks. So he won't be eligible to play for the Springboks uh, anymore, Achilles. But surely he can play for the Bulls or the Sharks. I wouldn't mind having him there. Then Kat Mixer says the Bulls are scared to play the British and Irish Lions. That's why they came with a quick Corona story. And then uh, Spano with all the money has been spent, but they, they are all at the Springboks. Yeah, look, we've got we've got a couple of good players there with the Springboks, likes of Thomas de Tway, Ox Nashir. Um we've got uh Bapimpin Kossi, we've got uh who else is there at the Springboks? Hope I'm not missing any names here, but there's quite a few. I did miss a couple. So uh yeah, Archie Surf Dog says uh, turning in for a massive sharks upset today. I hope you're right, Archie Surfboard uh Surf Dog. But I just can't see that happening. Achilles says, uh, Bulls just don't want to embarrass Lions, Western Province and Sharks when they beat the British and Irish Lions. Uh, Casper, hopefully we get a stronger side. Well, the team on paper isn't stronger than the one on Wednesday, Casper. So I'm a little bit worried about today's game. But you never know. Um, Jasper says, uh, my sister is screaming to the Sharks, uh, me Bulls uh, fans. So... Mindless uh, lunch could uh, would crush the Bulls at the moment, surely. Uh, Bulls just lost to Treviso. And then, uh, Barry, you need maybe airbags, Guru, because your PC is always crashing. Yeah, I don't know. It's something with the hard drive or the drivers. It's got something to do with that. So I don't know what's going on. Uh, Albert says, Shark should sign Akker van der Merwe again. We miss him. So I wouldn't mind having Akker back. I wouldn't mind having the... Jean Luc and Dan the Priya back, and even if we have to get Robert the Priya back into the side as well, because uh, clearly Kevin Bosch is not the answer. And then the likes of Andre Esterhuizen would be really good to have as well. Uh, we need a proper fullback, so Cheslin Colby, please come to the Sharks anytime. <clears throat> then Achilles says, uh, mind, mind us, you can't compare an A team Bulls squad with a B team Bulls. That loss to uh, Benetton and Matt Havoc says, I want to bet the Sharks are going to make first points in the game like a goal kick. Not a bad choice, you know. Those ones are normally 50-50. It can go anyway. So, yeah, I would make the bet if I were you. Take the chance. Then uh, Achilles says, we are still the strongest rugby team in SA at the moment, referring to the Bulls. Uh, Eddie Keane also says, uh, Bulls bang hard <laughs> for and then uh, Barry Green maybe upgrade soft. Yeah, I'll probably try and oh, well, I've done that. And it seems like every time I try and upgrade it, it uh, crashes. And then uh, Achilles, I'm 100% confident we will beat Benetton if we play them again. Jasper Bosov says, I think uh, Jaden Hendricks, uh, Donovan, Donovan says, Quivis Reynard, that would be a good choice. And I totally agree. But one player that is very underrated at the moment is James Hall. I don't know if anybody remember him. Uh, he is, well, he's still young and he's playing in uh, Stade de France at the moment. And uh, he was back in South Africa at the moment. I was so hoping that the Sharks could sign him, but it doesn't seem like that is going to happen at any time. So I would have loved to see uh, James Hall back in South Africa. He's developed in such a brilliant player. And, uh, Hopefully, the Bulls can at least get him back in South Africa or the Stormers. But we'll have to wait and see. The match conditions for this game around 17 degrees with an 11 kilometer per hour wind and no chance of rain. So, yeah, balls of fuss says, but on a boy for life. And uh, Achilles says, uh, I want to believe today the Sharks are going to play a better game than on Wednesday. Right, and also, uh, Albert, maybe they should have picked a combined team of all the unions with Stonehouse in charge. That would have been an absolutely uh, great game to watch. But I think that's, oh, well, can't say that's why the SAA side is there because they're not going to have a combined team. They're just going to play with, uh, well, it's actually 
We're not playing the SAA. Are we playing the SAA team on Wednesday? Or are they playing the Stormers on Wednesday? I'm not sure. I might have to have a look at that because that uh, fixture list keeps changing as well. You want to play asking who is playing 10 today for the Sharks? It is Lionel Cronier who's back at the Shark Tank. So hopefully he can do well. I'm sure he'll do better than Kevin did. Then Johannes Payne says, I'm a big Stormer supporter, but the Bulls are the only side I think that can beat the Lions at the moment. Miners also, does anyone think that this series should be played in the UK for safety reasons? Uh, big crowds allowed here. Uh, no, and loads of South African expats over there. Yeah, look, I don't think it's going to happen, mindless. Um, but the way things have been going in South Africa with that, it would have made sense in a way, but uh, it would have favoured the Lions if they went to play in the crowd because the UK would have obviously uh, backed the British and Irish Lions more than the South Africans. Then uh, Kasper Bossov, I think the Sharks are a good team. They just need to start at a high tempo. And uh, the game to watch, says Matt Havoc, uh, Havoc, is the game between South Africa A and the British and Irish Lions. That is going to be a cracker of a game and will give us more or less an idea of where the, shark, uh, the box are at at the moment but yeah who knows it's almost time to get this game underway guys we've got a couple of minutes left we're going to go quickly through the lineups one more time for the lions we've got liam williams uh, anthony watson elliot daly chris harris duan van Marva, dan bigger and gareth davis then uh, in the forwards rory sutherland jamie george Dutch furlong then i hear Murray told you will not be playing it will be Courtney Laws and then Johnny Hill, Dadge Byrne, Hamis Watson, Jack Conan. Then on the bench, well then Ken Owens, Wynn Jones, Carl Sinclair, Courtney, well, Courtney Laws starting now. Then Sam Simmons, Tom Curry, Connor Murray, and uh, Finn Russell. So a very strong uh, British and Irish lineup for this one. And we should see some fire in the side. For the Sharks, we've got Anthony Foreman, Manus Borkita, Vanakok, Murray Costa, Takir Abrams, Lionel Cronier, Jaden Hendricks. Uh, and then uh, the forwards, the Tuku, uh, Machuna, Kieran van Vieren, Bian Herbs, Leroux Roots, Renil Hiku, Dylan Richardson, Mpeli Kumedi, and Pepsi Putelezi. Then on the bench, Dan Uester, um, NJ Machola, Kucha Machuna, Timbalani Boli, Jean-Dre Labuskati, Cameron Wright, Buddha Chamberlain, and uh, Jeremy Ward. So, yeah, that is the lineups for um, this game. Right, quickly going back, uh, Matt Havoc. Yeah, Achilles says, my only bit of fear is New Zealand. No fear at all for the British and Irish Lions. Well, it's not going to be a walk in the park, Achilles. Etienne van der says hi and in place as well. How's it, guys? Welcome for joining the stream today. We are about to start this game. Um, uh, Rack 3D, the players have now run onto the field, or the Lions at least, so we're just waiting on the Sharks to get onto the field, and uh, then this game will get underway. Jamie George is the captain for the British and Irish Lions today. Matt Havoc uh, says, uh, it will be an interesting game if the Barbarians and the British and Irish Lions play each other, then which Tiger can't wait, go Sharks. Right, so the Sharks are about to run onto the field as well, playing in their white shirts today. So I guess they didn't wash the black shirts in time for this one. Uh, Kitty says, uh, I agree, Guru. I mean, it won't be a walk in the park, but the British and Irish Lions don't seem scary as the All Blacks for me. And then in place, but the Barbarians would get destroyed. Yeah, unfortunately, it's one of those things the Barbarians never have enough time to get going as a team so yeah andre warren says hi guys here we go again let's hope the sharks can do better today it's going to be tough it's going to be really really tough anna cox says stats nine carries 67 meters made and five defenders beaten in that game on wednesday so here we go guys this is it in places respect to fiji who really had a great game against the all blacks the referee for today is Wayne Barnes. So, yeah, let's get this one underway. It should be a cracking game. 
Right. It is going to be the Lions to get this game underway. And uh, it is uh, going to be Dan Bigger to get this big one underway for the Sharks. Right, here we go. The kickoff from the Lions. A deep kick in this time round into the hands of Kumeli for the Sharks. And what a run from him early on. Uh, just inside their own 22 is the Sharks now. Hendricks is going to go with the box kick over the top now. Chased down by Modernus. Port hit uh, was there a little knock on from the Lions? Uh, yes, there is. And in fact, uh, let's see what the referee has to say here. Bringing them back. I think for a penalty to the Sharks early on. Yeah, penalty to the Sharks on the 22 meter line, and it's going to be Lionel Cronier to kick this one into touch for the Sharks. Right, guys, don't forget to vote. I do have the poll up there. 85 votes already, saying 41% says the Lions are going to win it by 30 plus, and then some say 32%. Says we will see a Sharks upset today. Right, the throw in from Kieran Van Fieren now. Over the top to Dylan Richardson. And here we go. Inside the, the half of the uh, Lions now. Jaden Hendricks uh, out to Lionel Cronier. Vanacock smashes Elliot Daly. The ball spills loose, however. And now Pepsi Brutales has got it on a 10-meter line. Here he comes. Oh, the ball's been ripped by Dan Bigger. But a little knock on from the Lions. And it's going to be scrum down to the Sharks on a 10-meter line. Vanacock absolutely smashing uh, Elliot Daly there in the midfield. And high fives all around for this one. Right, uh, Nabil Stewart says, uh, British Lions, brutal up front, but the Springboks are the strongest up front, the strongest back in the world. Ask England what happened in the final. And Achilles also says, Pollock will be fine. For the Lions, there's the Marcel Celiac says, Good evening, Mr. Guru. I'm here. No problem, Marcel. Thank you for joining in as well. Andre Warren says, Yes, Lionel Career, no botch today. Balls of Fuss says, uh, Sharks for the upset. Right, scrum feed here. Chad and Hendricks have fed it in for the Sharks. He does go down and a penalty to the Lions. The Sharks scrum going down there. And early on, it's Vian Herbs who gets penalized. Dan Bigger going to put this into the corner for them. And uh, that is going to find touch five meters up from the try line. So it will be uh, the Lions with an opportunity early on to get some points on the board here. Right. Can uh, the Sharks stop this uh, Lions side from scoring early on in this game? Matt Havoc says, I will be shell-shocked if the Sharks win. Right, here comes the Lions now with a throw-in. And they've got them all going. But the Sharks have neutralized them a, a little bit. And they're nearly into touch. Well, they, in fact, they have gone into touch. So it is going to be a Sharks lineup five meters out from their own try line. Or have the referee given a penalty here. Let's just see what the call is here. So... Yeah, there's a penalty. No, line up to the Sharks. Right, Likona is joining as well. How's it going, Likona? And uh, here we go. Balls a bit uh, fast. Says I bet $5 for the Sharks to score first. Right, so the throw in from the Sharks, beautifully taken by Hichu. Gives it out to Leroux Roots. Five meters out from our try line is the Sharks at the moment. Renil Hichu, scrum off. Gives it out to Kronje. Long cut out pass to Kieran van Vieren. He's going to have a dart now, 10 meters out from our try line. Renil Hichu, has it been knocked on by the Lions? Yes, it has. Comes back the way of Lionel Cronier, who's going to kick this downfield, but not going to find touch. And here comes the Lions now on the attack. It's Duan van Amerba. He's going to straighten the line, and he's going to run almost straight through. Gives it out to the inside center, Chris Harris. And the Lions open the scoreboard again after just four minutes in this game. The defense non-existent there from the Sharks. To Antoine Merva, great run from him. Gets the offload to Chris Harris, and the Lions are on the board. Oh, it doesn't seem that way, uh, Marcel. I hope the Sharks have learned from the previous game and well and kick some butt. 
Yeah, well, they're not going to kick some butt. They're just kicking uselessly at the moment. That ball uh, really just went uh, not well. It didn't go into touch. And Duan van der Merwe had a cracking run down there. Right. Uh, so the conversion now coming from the Lions. Dan Bigger to attempt this one. Five minutes gone in this game. And uh, yeah, it's five points to nil to the British and Ice Lions as early as five minutes again. <laughs> right, the conversion from uh, Dan Bigger is a good one, it seems. And it is seven points to nil after just five and a half minutes. Yeah, Nabil Stewart, if you kick, kick out, that is the main important thing. And don't give them space to run it at. The Kona says, uh, just hope the score margin will be less. And then in place, uh, Mr. Guru, what's your thoughts about Jordan? Absolutely great player. Right, the restart from uh, the Sharks now into the hands of Jack Conan. Inside of 22, Vanna Cock having a crack at him, but not getting the ball. Amos Watson takes it up for the Lions. Inside their own 22 at the moment is this uh, Lions side. Gareth Davis waiting for the ball to come out for them now. Goes with a box kick. Charged down by Renil Hichu and here's a chance for the Sharks now. Lionel Cronier a little bit isolated there, but they get it back now. Jaden Hendricks out to Dylan Richardson. Just short of the, well, between the 10 and the 22 meter line now. And Dylan Richardson goes to ground now eventually. Can we get this ball back? Jaden Hendricks uh, out to Gumeri. He's going to put his head down. Driven back in the tackle, though. Shark losing a bit of ground now. Anthony Foreman trying to straighten the line for us. Comes back Jaden Hendrickson. Now Pepsi Budalesi. Shark's looking a little bit uh, better at the breakdown today. Cronier out to Richardson again. Held up in the tackle on a 10-meter line in, in the middle of the field. Now Lionel Cronier out to Van Cock again. Van Cock beats one. Still going as Van Cock up to the 10-meter line. The Kier Abrams now out to Leroux Roots. Sharks are losing ground at the moment on halfway now. Here they come again. Lionel Cronier out to Costa. Now straightened by Anthony Foreman now. Just over halfway. Jaden Enixer waiting for the ball to come back. Finds uh, Kieran van Fieren. Good defense from the line so far. Penalty advantage coming the way of the Sharks now. Courtney Law scored off sight there. And a chance now for the Sharks to, uh, well, will they go for goal or will they kick for touch? Important here. Uh, Pete Pomp is asking, uh, is uh, Bosch on the bench today? Well, he is there as number 25, I think. So I don't know if the Sharks are allowed to bring on more subs than the 23. If that is the case, they won't, he won't be playing if it's only uh, limited to 23 players. Andre Warren says, uh, come on, Sharks. And Ethan, so far the Lions too has been the Lions basically visiting school kids. Right, so let's see what's going to happen in this lineup. Taken by Kumedi at the back. Now the ball from the Sharks. Over the 22-meter line they go now. Karen Van Furen got it. Gives it out to Costa on the 22-meter line. Now Jaden Hendricks they're out to the real roots. Making a couple of meters now, but over the ball. Is Courtney Law struggling to get it out? Is the Sharks very cost has got it now? Just over the 22 meter line. Jaden Hendricks is going to try and snipe. Gives it out to Cronier. Puts a little cross kick in and taken by Anthony Watson inside his swing to makes the mark and now kicks it downfield. Then he's going to find touch. Oh, it's not going to find touch. It's going to roll all the way over the line, but not over the dead ball line. Pushed down by Lionel Cronier, and we're coming back for a 22 meter restart. Please stop kicking away the ball, Sharks. Run it at the Lions today. Really, no, no need to kick the ball away. The kick wasn't on target. It was a poor kick from Lionel Cronier, and it's basically given us away a uh, vital uh, territory in this game. Right, so Lionel Cronier is going to restart this from the 22 for the Sharks now. Nabil asking, how can you kick possession away on the attack? 
uh, question exactly. Kick straight down the middle, and Dan Bigger is going to go with the hoist up in the air. It is chased down here by Elliot Daly. Does come back to the way of the Lions, but Jaden Hendricks has done well to secure it for the Sharks. Now he could up to Lionel Cronier, and he's knocked it on. But the referee says it's gone backwards, and he kicks it downfield into the hands of Liam Williams. Now up to halfway. Gives it out to Duan van der Beats two defenders. Now brought down by Pepsi Butelezi on the 10-meter line. Now inside shots off. Dan Bigger. Out it goes to Elliot Daly. Knocks it on, and Van Cock gives it out to Hendricks. And now a chance here for the Sharks. Is that Vinny Foreman? Can he go all the way? Yes, he will. And the Sharks will get the try here under the post as they open up their own scoreboard as well. Great stuff from the Sharks there. But I think we might have a look at a little knock on there. But hopefully they won't and the, the try will stand. Great uh, quick thinking from uh, Vanna Cock there after Elliot Daly knocked that ball on. Just a split second from Vanna Cock gave the inside pass to Jaden Hendricks. Uh, had a little run, gave it out, and then the pass out wide to Anthony Fulman. And he had the gas to go all the way for the try. <laughs> Marcel so yeah, Mr. Guru, is that also orange juice? Yeah, it's a little bit of oros today. <laughs> right, so Andre Warren War says awesome. Nabil Stewart, Foreman, Gaspia Pace, very quick. So the Sharks have got the first try this time around, very early on in the first half. That is great stuff from the Sharks on this occasion. Achilles says, Guru, I'm going to say what's up real quick. Oh, I don't have my phone with me, Achilles. It's on charts inside the room, I think. Right, so try to the charts here, and it's seven all after 12 minutes of play. Great stuff here from the Sharks, and uh, that's the way we should be playing. Right, the restart from Dan Bigger, taken by Kumedi, and he knocks it on. Or has he? No, says the referee. Play on. And here comes Kumedi out to Hendricks, uh, but this time he knocks it on on the 10-meter line. And it is going to be a scrum down to the Lions. So the referee missing some knock-ons uh, down the line here. And Warren Gatland not looking a happy man at the moment. Right, so there's going to be a scrum down right in the middle of the field on the 10-meter line here for the uh, British and Irish Lions. Right, we also go, 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 shocks. Uh, then uh, Marcel says, yeah, please. Uh, this is definitely not going to be a game like the last one and then Nikona says great player. he brings a lot of energy to the side today he's really pumped up for this one uh Kutenda says i could see a halfback combo lionel cronier and uh well not sure but here comes the lions now and it's gareth davis off the back of that uh, scrum here they've gone up to the 22 meter line but a penalty to the sharks here five meters out from the 22. And uh, Lionel Cronier kicks this quickly and not going to find touch. Oh, it's going to roll into touch. And that oh, it's not going to go into touch. But Anthony Fulman onto Dan Bigger in a flash. And the Sharks will have the lineup inside the 22 of the Lions. Great uh, energy here from the Sharks so far. <laughs> Barry says, I, I know that feeling, Guru. No, like, uh, well, I won't say, I w nah, I'm just going to keep quiet on this one, Barry. Uh, Matt Havoc says, uh, they must keep the points flowing today. And Wedge Tiger says, uh, go Sharks. We can do this. So the lineup taken, and here comes the Sharks again. Dylan Richardson, about 10 meters out from the twilight, is the Sharks now. Jaden Hendricks uh, out to the roots. Tries to gain a couple of meters, driven back in a tackle now. Jaden Hendricks uh, out to Pepsi Butelezi. He's going to have a strong run brought down by Amy Swatson. 10 meters out. Dylan Richardson bashing it up for the Sharks now. Still 10 meters out. Here they come. Lionel Cronier puts it to the boot. The little grabber kick. And it's the Kier Abrams who gets the try for the Sharks in the corner. That is much better from the Sharks. And we take the lead in this game. Absolutely brilliant there. And... Uh, the one time that he can kick and score a try from it, that's much better. <laughs> right, so uh, 
with the question mark here, uh, Cronier or Bosch, who's the best? Well, Lionel Cronier is having a cracking game so far, uh, apart from that uh, one that he kicked away earlier. This little grubber kick worked absolutely brilliantly, and Takir Abrams gets the try for the Sharks. Right, which says, uh, uh, today we are on fire. Lionel, us uh, usually good. Right, so Likona says, go Sharks now. And the try has been awarded 12-7. And the conversion kick coming from Lionel Cronier now. Barry says, uh, Sharks are doing better. And Pit Pompey says, uh, Sharks. Uh, Kili says, how long can a Shark keep this up? Or will it last? Uh, we'll have to wait and see. The kick from Lionel Cronier has gone well to the left. So... The score remains 12 points to 7. Barry Green says, outstanding improvement from the Sharks so far. And uh, Terry Patton says, looks like the Sharks have learned from their last game. Right, the restart here from the Lions, taken by Kumedi. Inside the 22, he's going to bash it up to the 22-meter line. Great run from Kumedi there. And now Jaden Hendricks up. Waiting for the ball. He's going to go with a box kick over the top. Chased down here by the shot, but beautifully taken by Liam Williams on the 10-meter line now. Gareth Davis waiting for the ball to come out. Gives it out to Dutch Furlong, who puts his head down on the 10-meter line now. Here comes Gareth Davis. Out it goes to Dan Bigger. Out to Jack Conan. Great tackle from Van Cock, Stopping him in his tracks. Now again, Dan Bigger with a little stab through into the hands of... Uh, well, Lionel Cronier is going to run this from his 22, gets caught. Uh, luckily, there's enough support for the Sharks inside the 22 now. Jaden Hendricks are waiting for this ball to come out now. And uh, just setting it up through Karen Van Fira now. Still got the ball inside the 22 is the Sharks now. Jaden Hendricks uh, is uh, going to go with the box kick over the top again. It is going to be chased down by Takir Abrams. But again... Taken by Gareth Davis this time for the Lions on a 10-meter line. Touch Furlong at scrum off for the Lions. Gives it out to Dan Bigger with a cross kick. And into the hands of Elliot Daly. Kicks it ahead again. And here they come again. The bounce of the ball is not kind for Anthony Foreman on his 5-meter line. Now, can he get this ball? Can he get support, though? Yes, he can. He's brought it down. Oh, a penalty to the Lions. Players diving in from the side there is a... Uh, Murray Costa, the guy who gets away the penalty against the Sharks now. And the Lions with a chance. Quickly taken by Jamie George. Four meters out from the try line. Have they knocked that ball on? No, they haven't. Still going against the Lions now. Ah, oh, yeah. The referee do call him back for that knock on. I could have sworn I saw a knock on there. And the referee finally, through the touch judge, gets the uh, call there. Right. Achilles says... Uh, <laughs> If the Sharks win this, uh, I have no doubt that we'll beat the Lions when the Bocca play them. And then uh, Andre Warren says four flyers, but none world class. And then Pete Pompey's uh, first time the Lions are trailing this tour. And then Cronier must tackle. Tackle is weak. Played with uh, with Asian. And then Dan Bigger puts me in a bad mood when I see his face. Right, so a knock on here from the Lions. And it's going to be a scrum down. To the Sharks, five meters from their own try line. Can they uh, defend this one? It should be an interesting one, but let's see how it's going to turn out for them. Currently, the voting as it stands on 108 votes, 44% says Lions by 30 plus, and 32% says Sharks uh, for the upset. So it's pretty close at the moment. It's either a runaway game for the Lions. Or an upset victory for the Sharks. We've had 18 minutes in this game. And uh, Duan van der Merwe opened up the scoreboard very early on in the fourth minute. But since then, it's been all Sharks in this game. Right. Uh, the possession percentage uh, for the Sharks is better than the Lions at the moment. Well, the Sharks have scored two brilliant tries through Anthony Foreman. And then also Takir Abrams, who got one. Uh, Achilles says, looks like the Sharks have a possible good depth of players here. 
The scrum has gone well, and Jaden Hendricks has kicked this downfield into the hands of Liam Williams on a 10-meter line. We really need to get our kicks out into touch here. Otherwise, the Lions are going to uh, really counter-attack really well. But a little mix-up there from the Lions in the back and a knock-on from them. It's going to be a Sharks ball again on the 10-meter line inside our own half. So the Lions making some bad mistakes at the moment. Uh, Zuka says Sharks on fire. So Courtney Law's little pass uh, didn't go to hand to Rory Sutherland. He knocked it on, and it's going to be a Sharks uh, put into the scrum uh, between the 22 and the 10 meter line inside our own half. We've had 19 minutes. Ethan says, uh, first put, first bit of pressure on them. Keep it up. Barry says, it's fine. You can say it, Guru. No, I'm saying. Uh, just Jason says, uh, just realized my club is leading again. Four countries. Right, the scrum goes down, but the ball is available at the back, I think. And it does come out now for the shot, but we got no... Where's the cameraman on this one? Oh, no, we are. Let's let's see what is... Oh, it's a penalty to the Lions from that scrum. So, Dan is going to put this into touch for the Lions. And uh, that one is going to find touch. Five meters out from the try line. And another opportunity now for the Lions. Big Pompey says another try now, Sharks. And then Achilles, I think the Sharks ate their spinach and it turned into Popeye Sharks and playing like this. Right, so the line out now for the Lions, five meters out from the Sharks try line. Jamie George to throw this into the line out. Can uh, the Sharks defend this again? Taken in by uh, Dutchburn for the Lions now. Five meters out, they form them all. And they are going forward, well, slightly forward. Now they turn on the gas here with them all. Jamie George controlling at the back. They should get a try here. And it looks like it's going to be Jamie George over the try line. And the Lions get their second try of this game. And we are all square here after 20 minutes of play. Andre Warren says, uh, I wish a Sharks team could play them with our box back in the team as well. That would have been pretty awesome if uh, we managed to get that. But unfortunately, not the case. So we'll have to do with our uh, basically our BC team today. Right, so the try has been scored by Jamie George and now an opportunity to put the Lions in front with this kick from Dan Bigger. It's about five meters from the left-hand touch line, just outside of 22, Dan Bigger with the second attempt of this game. Can uh, he uh, get this or will he miss it? Ethan says, Sharks look a little bit soft, lightweight to be honest, going for the high fight, uh, high base game. That one is gonna go to the right of the post. So we're all square here after 20 minutes of play in this game. 12 all the scoreline here at the moment. Try scored by Jamie George there for the Lions. We've had 22 minutes in this game. Right, the restart now going to come from Lionel Cronier. And can the Sharks keep this up? That's the big question here. Here we go again. Lionel Cronier with the restart now. Deep kick in, taken here by Jack Conan for the Lions. Up to the 22 meter line. They go now. And the Ruritz not rolling away. Penalty to the Lions again. Discipline letting the Sharks down at the moment. Yeah, Le Ruritz, the guy penalized there. Tackler not rolling away. And uh, Dan Bigger can pump this into touch again. And he's going to find it roundabout on a 10 meter line inside the Sharks uh, half at the moment. Matt Havoc, Havoc says uh, Sharks must not get soft. Achilles says, uh, remember Pompa, uh, Popeye's finish only lasts a while. Let's see how long the Sharks finish last. Right, taken by Courtney Laws now. Gareth Davis, Dan Bigger, out to Jack Conan, up to the 10 meter line, goes the Lions again. Gareth Davis, he's going to try and snipe on his own, brought down by Vian Harps and Murray Costa there. Jamie George out to Courtney Laws, gets tackled by Grimetti there, good tackle from him. Now Gareth Davis, out it goes to Dan Bigger. He's going to try and beat a couple of defenders brought down 
by uh, Pepsi Butelezi on the 10 meter line. Here comes Courtney Laws, now they're straight in the line. About between the 10 and the 22 now is the Lions. Jack Conan gets the offload to Liam Williams, out to Duan Panamarva. Tackled by Pepsi Butelezi there. Just outside the 22 now, Gareth Davis out to Rory Sutherland. Again, Gareth Davis now gets it quickly to Dan Bigger. Out to Jamie George, into the gap he goes. Needs support now over the 22 meter line, goes the Lions. About 15 meters out. It's been intercepted by Jaden Hendricks, sir. And he's going to run the length of the field and get the try for the Sharks here. Duan Van is not going to catch him. That's a try to the Sharks. And the Sharks take back the lead in this game. A try against a run of play, but the Sharks have got it. And it's a try to them. Third try of the game for the Sharks. And it's looking a lot better than last week. Great stuff here from the Sharks. Just patiently waiting was Jaden Hendrickson to get that intercept try. And what a run from the nine. Daly, as well as Duan van der Merwe, not even close in catching him. Marcel uh, Salia asking who the referee is for today. It is Wayne Barnes who's the referee for today's game. Right, so the Sharks take the lead by 17 to 12 with the conversion to come. Wedge Tiger says, well improved play, Sharks. Andre Warren, whoop, whoop. And uh, Pete Pompey says, yes, the conversion is good. It's 19 points to 12 after 25 minutes of playing. Matt Haddock says they're, they are performing much better at Loftus. And uh, from now on, uh, it's going to call the Sharks, finish Sharks or four party Sharks. And then uh, Seth says away. Right, 19 to 12 it is. And the restart now from the Lions. Taken in, oh, not taken by Leroy Roots. And the Lions have got this on the 22 now. Jamie George, out it goes. Just outside the 22 now. Gareth Davis again, out to Hamish Watson. Brought down by uh, Renil Hechu, just on the 22 meter line. Right in the middle of the field now. Dutch Byrne taking it up for them. Comes back again to Rory Sutherland. Now inside the 22 are the Lions. The Sharks are going to get uh, penalized for their mistakes here if they're not going to sort it out. Dan Bigger is going to snipe on his hand, gets it out to Liam Williams, and it's going to be Duan van der Merwe in for the try here. And uh, the British and Irish Lions strike back almost immediately. <laughs> well, Ty Wood says Sharks didn't come to, to take a clap this time, and a Bill Stewart. Do you want a fun matter? can't catch Hendricks. What about Super Colby? And then Ethan says LaRue Roots is begging to be supped off at the moment. Uh, yeah, he's having a, a little bit of a hard time now. Achilles uh, Guru is hiding his happy laughter and smile. Uh, he knows he wants to scream, yes, Sharks. Right, so the Sharks giving away a soft try after scoring a soft try. And it should be all square after this conversion. We've had around 27 minutes of play in this one. Nabil Stewart says mistakes will cost him the game. This conversion is solid through the middle. And it's 19 all after 27 minutes of play. Right, so that is a bad mistake. Uh, Seth Mc, Mc, uh, Milliken asking, where can I watch the game? Not on YouTube, uh, Seth. You will have to have... Uh, either Rugby Pass subscription or uh, DSTV or Sky Sport to watch this one live. Pete Pompey says, so defense is not part of the game plan for either team tonight. It seems that way. Literally, pure attack from the Sharks, no defense. The restart here from Lionel Cronier is a deep one taken by Elliot Daly inside the 22, now runs it out. Lerutz has got uh, him covered. Just outside of 22 now, Gareth Davis. Out it goes to Dutch uh, Furlong. Caught there by uh, Dylan Richardson. Now uh, Gareth Davis got this ball under control. Just outside of 22 off the, off the lines. Goes with the box kick over the top now. And uh, it looks like it's uh, Pepsi Butelezi has got it for the Sharks. Just inside his own half. Fins off uh, Dan Bigger, but slumps down himself as well. Now Jaden Hendricks on the 10 meter line, waiting for this ball to come back. Gives it out to Leroux Roots on the 10 meter line. Good defense from the Lions and good uh, counter 
Ruck from Rory Sutherland, but Lionel Cruni has got it. Goes for the big boot. And it is now chased down by Takir Abrams, who's going to get it to Juan van der Merwe. Beautifully taken by him, but throws a loose pass out to Elliot Daly. And it goes into touch, roundabout on the 10 meter line inside the Lions half. Line out to the Sharks. Uh, Nabil Stewart says Lions defense are weak at the moment. So, yeah. Duan van der Merwe, seven carries, 112 uh, meters, and three defenders beaten on Wednesday, but not having his way so much today. He does have a try to his name, but he has been struggling, and it is Le Rurut who is down at the moment, and Ethan just said that uh, he looked like somebody that wants to get replaced. So Le Rurut's down at the moment for the Sharks. So just receiving some attention 29 minutes gone and this has been a great game so far much better spectacle than last week or during the week i must say 57 percent possession and 43 percent territory going the way of the sharks at the moment let's see how the poll is doing on the channel we've got 130 votes saying the lions will still 37% says the Lions will still win it by 30% or 30 points plus. And then 35 says the Sharks upset. So do go and vote if you haven't voted just yet. Right, line up. Kieran von Furen to throw this in for the Sharks now. And it's taken by committee now. Jaden Hendricks out to Lionel Cronier. Leroux Roots is going to bash this up. Great run here from Leroux Roots up to the 10 meter line. Jaden Hendricks out to Pepsi Butelezi. <clears throat> penalty advantage coming the way of the Sharks now. It's Dylan Richardson on the 10 meter line, right in the middle of the field now, waiting for this ball to come out. Jaden Hendricks again to Lionel Cronier, puts a little chip kick over the top at straight into the hands of the Lions, and we're coming back for a penalty. Run about, uh, well, on the 10 meter line, about 20 meters out from the left hand touch line. Uh, you kind of ask which position does Le Roots play? He's number four for the Sharks. Uh, Mahmoud says, I'm watching the game live, <clears throat> but listening to Guru. We need you at Super Sports, says Mahmoud. And then Albert says, smash that like button, boys. This is turning out to be a great game. Right, so will the Sharks go for goal from here or will they kick it into touch? So Lionel Cronier is lining this one up. We are going to try and take the points in this one so he's already missed one kick so far today but this one not so difficult so hopefully you can get it for the sharks with about 10 minutes to go in this uh, first half right uh Cronier play like japanese top league uh right here comes the kick and that's gonna go to the left of the upright so he's missed it and the score will remain the same so not the greatest accuracy from Lionel Cronier at the moment, but he does uh, find his, or puts away his back line quite brilliantly at the moment. Big Pompey says, uh, Lions got no chance against the box. They only have one South African. And then uh, Andre, Andrew Warren asking you from uh, Japan. Right, so the restart taken in by Renil Hiko on halfway now for the Sharks. Jaden Hendricks has got it. Gives it out to Lionel Cronier now. Murray Costa is going to try and straighten the line up to the 10 meter line. Can the Sharks get quick ball now? Jane and Hendricks there. Gives it out to Pepsi Butelezi. He takes on Gareth Davis up to the halfway line. Now Dylan Richardson bashing his way up to over the halfway line now, right in the middle of the field. Jane and Hendricks are back to line of Cronier. Goes with a cross kick and a horrible kick from him. And uh, that's going to go straight into touch. So, uh, yeah. He's just trying too much at the moment, is uh, Lionel Cronier. One kick working out, two going horribly wrong for him. Yeah, so, Yanni Hendrick says, uh, come Sharks, come. So line up to the Lions, just uh, run about on the 10 meter line, inside Sharks territory. Amos Watson takes it, gets it out to Dan Bigger, straight in the line here. Bashes up to the 10 meter line. Gareth Davis again up to uh, Rory Sutherland. Now Gareth Davis changes direction back inside. Oh, the referee in the way there of the pass. So we will have a scrum down to the lines. 
run about on halfway. The line stringer set play move there, but clearly the referee wasn't informed of it. And uh, they pass it straight into him. Otherwise, Elliot Daly would have been into a gap or Renil Hichu would have intercepted that and have been gone. Right. Uh, Seth McKillen says, I'll break uh, Van Mara's ankles. Matt Havoc says, Sharks. Right. Scrum down between the 10-meter line and the halfway line now. We've got seven minutes left in this first half. It's all square here at Loftus. Right, scrum feed coming up for Gareth Davis now to feed it for the Lions. Big Pompey says, I'm also worried, to be honest, just putting up a brave face. Jack Conan makes a mess at the back of the scrum there. Good defense from uh, Jaden Hendrickson, but they do get it back on halfway. Is the Lions now. Hamish Watson tackled beautifully there by Kumedi, and he's been playing a Great game so far as the number seven for the Sharks. Great counter up from him as well. Courtney Law stakes it up for the Lions. Over halfway they go. Now picked up by Johnny Hill for the Lions. Just pick and go from him at the moment. Hamis Watson as well. Karen Van Furen onto him. Oh, nearly broken through. There's Hamis Watson up to the 10-meter line. Right in the middle of the field now. Johnny Hill taken down by Lerner Roots. That's burn. Pick and go again. Now the Lions go out to Gareth Davis to Dan Bigger, stabs it through. A little mix up here from uh, Foreman. And he's under pressure on his five meter line. Gets the pass up to Van Cock now. And it's the Sharks going to run this. Lionel Cronier is going to kick it downfield at least. And uh, find some relief, but not out. On halfway now, Liam Williams. Out it goes to uh, Anthony Watson. Anthony Watson steps one, tackled by Lionel Cronier. Gets the offload to Gareth Davis. Inside of 22 and finally bundled into touch by the Sharks. Quickly taken by the Sharks. Now a knock on from Anthony Foreman maybe. Now he's knocked it backwards and he's going to have a run here. Up to the 22 meter line he goes. Help in the tackle now. Jaden Hendricks is there to support. Comes back to the Sharks. Lionel Cronier out to Renil Hiku. Van Akok. They're running this from their own 22. The Sharks now. Pepsi Butelezi. Out it goes to the right wing, up to the 10 meter line is the Sharks now. Jaden Hendricks are waiting for it again now. Vian Harps driven back in the tackle there by the Lions, but still on the 10 meter line they are. Jaden Hendricks are waiting for the ball to come out now, and he's going to go with the box kick over the top, and it's going to be chased down by Martin Spotkitter now. But uh, Dan Bigger's got it, passes out to Duan for the Marva. He's going to go out wide to Elliot Daly, and here comes the Lions on the 10 meter line. They are going to pass it to Rory Sutherland now. He's going to put his head down just inside the Lions half now. Gareth Davis out to Dan Bigger. Long cutout pass and a knock on from Duan van der Merwe. Picked up by Takir Abrams. And Takir Abrams could go all the way back inside to Anthony Foreman. And it's going to be another try to the Sharks here. A fourth try for them. And with four minutes to go in this first half, the Sharks take back the lead. Wow, the Sharks side has come to play. I take back all my words at the start of this game. This looks like our A team and the B team probably played on Wednesday. What a mistake from Tuan van der Merwe. Takir Abrams picked it up, ran almost all the way back inside to Anthony Foreman, who gets the try under the post for the Sharks. And the Sharks have got the lead back here. Great stuff from the Sharks. Get if Isaac says uh, Sharks is on a roll today. Marcel Salia, Mr. Guru is the best. There's no better commentator. Thank you for that one, uh, Marcel. Albert says, well, Sharks, miracles do happen. So the kick now from Lionel Cronier goes over. So 26 points to 19. And uh, yeah, it is three minutes left in this first half. Dywood says, drinking game, take a shot every time you hear Pepsi. Well, Terry Patton says, uh, go Sharks. Uh, go. And then uh, Achilles says, uh, how exactly, Pete, that's why I never celebrate before the time. And Andre Milan, how is this possible? The restart from the Lions taken by Kumedi, and he's going to drive it up to just uh, inside his own 22 now. Jaden Hendricks uh, 
waiting for this ball at the back. He's going to go with the box kick over the top and uh, not going to find touch into the hands of uh, Liam Williams now. And here they come. Liam Williams up to the 10 meter line inside the Sharks uh, half now. And a penalty against the Sharks there. Vian Herbst penalized for playing the scrum half when the ball wasn't out just yet. So another chance now for the Lions to kick this into the corner. This is the problem at the moment. The Sharks are getting points, but they give away points almost every time that they score it. So, yeah, they need to try and work on a discipline for that. Oh, the kick from the Lions, not a great one. Only going to find touch just outside the 22 of the Sharks. Uh, Achilles, the Sharks scored or is it still 19 all? I don't know why this thing doesn't update. So let's see. Yeah, for some reason, the scoreboard hasn't been uh, changed from that side. I unfortunately have no control over it. So Courtney Laws takes it in uh, just outside of 22. Now here they come. Juan van der Merwe up to the 22 meter line. They go right in the middle of the field now for the Lions. It is Jack Conan taking it up inside of 22 now. Courtney Laws takes it up as well. About uh, 10 meters out from the try line now. Taken up by Tatch Burn again. The Lions now opting to go with a pick and go here. Just working it through the Sharks at the moment. Six phases already. Now Courtney Laws again. About seven or eight meters out. And it's going to be Tatch Burn who picks it up and goes straight through the Sharks defense. And gets the try for the British and Irish Lions. With uh, a minute to go in this first half. <laughs> Ty Wood says the site is matched up north. They also can't believe the score. Right. Uh, so the, sh the Sharks give away another try just after scoring. And if they want to win this one, they will have to get some points and stop the Lions from getting one straight afterwards. Uh, Ethan says uh, Sharks can't, you can't win this. Uh, they can't defend anything. Right. So the conversion goes over. We still got 30 seconds left. In this first half, um, so uh, 26 all it is here, and uh, we've got just under a, a minute to play in this game, <clears throat> or in the first half at least. Right, so they're very slow at uh, getting the scoreboard ticking today. So, uh, yeah, 26 all it is at the moment, and we've got less than 30 seconds to go in this half. Right, Lionel Cronier to uh, restart this one for the Sharks. Yanni Hendricks says a uh, very good commentary. Thank you so much. And then Kenneth Isaac says uh, close first half. So Lionel Cronier with the restart now. Jack Conan taking it up for the Lions just outside of 22 now. Gareth Davis controlling it out to Amos Watson. The Hooter goes for half time, but the Lions will surely have another crack at this. Gareth Davis waiting for the ball at the back now. He is going to go with the box kick over the top. Chased down by Anthony Watson and uh, Liam Williams or Dan Bigger. He's got it for the Lions on halfway now. Another little box kick from Gareth Davis. Maybe unnecessary that time. And Anthony Foreman is just going to hammer that into touch. So at halftime, it is going to be 26 points all. And uh, yeah, we probably have to sort this one out as we go on to the second half. So at halftime, Sharks 26, uh, the Lions got 26 as well. It's not a fluke. It is what the scoreline is at the moment, guys. So the Sharks 26, the Lions 26 at halftime. And what a valiant effort from uh, the Sharks in this first half. Matt Havoc says, uh, the Sharks are performing much better, but the fence is bad. And then uh, Terry Patton Sharks defense is still weak. And um, Tristan Erasmus says, I'm impressed. Go Sharks. Right. So 26 all at halftime, guys. This is not what I expected at halftime. Do you guys think the Sharks can do this in the second half? Or will the voting system on the poll at the moment, 153 votes, saying that there will be a Sharks upset? And then 33% says uh, the Lions by 30 plus. 18% Lions by 20 and 12% saying the Lions by uh, 10. Right, so that is what the scoreline is at halftime, guys. I am going to take a quick break like Pete Pompey is saying there. 
I will be back for the second half in just a short while. So don't go anywhere. We will be back for the second half real shortly. Right, guys, we are back for the second half. And what a first half this has been from uh, the Sharks. Um, Marcel Silvia says the second half is going to be a monster. Exactly, it is a monster. So, uh, Pete Pompey says, hope so, Guru. And if it puts that, says, Sharks must uh, hold on to the ball, stop kicking the ball away. And then uh, Achilles of Sh uh, Sharks win this match. I think uh, Guru has gone down a bottle. Uh, in front of us, ah, no, 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 no. Ethan says uh, Lions pull away uh, in the second half. I'm afraid, proud of the first half though, and uh, 
Then also um, Achilles, uh, Ethan says Achilles have been having some of those Spanish too, it seems. Um, Achilles says, uh, yes, Ethan, in the dressing room, the boys are getting injected with spinach. And then uh, Marcel Celia says, Achilles agree 100%. Um, they are going to turn into Hawks in the second half. Then uh, Achilles says, I'm a Bulls fan, but tonight I feel like a Sharks fan. I can't believe I'm this hyped up for another team. And uh, Marcel Celia says, that's the spirit. So let's quickly have a look at the Sharks' performance in that first half. Um, Anthony Foreman has been really consistent at fullback. Uh, apart from a little bit of a mix-up with uh, knocking the ball backwards on a few occasions, he's been pretty solid defending that try line valiantly when they kick the ball. And under pressure, he's done really well. Then Modest Potita has done well under the circumstances, not getting a lot of ball, but really good on the defense so far. And then Van der Kock, uh, he's been full of energy, like with that uh, game on Wednesday. Again, having a cracking game is Van der Kock on the defense. And I must say, I'm impressed with Murray Costa at the moment as well. Um, he's doing a really good job for the Sharks in that number 12 jumper as well, playing almost uh, exactly the same way uh, Morris uh, played on Wednesday. And Takir Abrams have been brilliant when he's had the ball, really putting the Lions under pressure and uh, really putting uh, Tuan van Amarva under pressure today as well. So that's off to the Sharks uh, for really trying hard in that first half. Lionel Cronier has been a mixed bag so far. He's done a few really good things. His grubber kick led to a try to Takir Abrams, but he has made a few silly mistakes with uh, some kicks that was unnecessary, getting some directly into touch as well. But uh, yeah, Jaden Hendricks, uh, probably the man of the moment in the Sharks side today. A lot of fuss has been made of him throughout the week. I, did, I wasn't so convinced, but today he is really taking it to the next level, is Jaden Hendricks. Uh, then uh, for the forwards for the Sharks, Machuna van Feren and Harps doing a really good job. Le Ruritz, although he looks a little bit tired, has had a fantastic game so far. Renil Hichu as well, really good. Dylan Richardson being probably one of the standout players in this uh, first half, taking the ball up, getting over the uh, advantage line every time that he touches the ball. So really good work from him. But for me, the standout performer so far in the forwards has been Billy Gumedi. Every time he's touched the ball, he's gone forward. He takes the ball in solid, haven't had any errors from his side. He's been brilliant in defense and really one of the standout players in the Sharks' uh, first half. Then Pepsi Butelezi has been solid. Hasn't seen a lot on him on the attack, but really good on the defense so far. So, yeah, if they can keep this up, then it's going to be a really good one today. Uh, Yanni Hendricks uh, says Sharks go for the second half. Right, uh, let's quickly go and have a look through the Lions side. Liam Williams have been absolutely brilliant at fullback. Um, Anthony Watson have hardly touched the ball. Elliot Daly has been a bit of a mixed uh, back as well for the Lions. A little few knock-ons here and there and uh, had a couple of good runs as well. Chris Harris, what can I say, making a little bit of mistakes here and there as well. And then Duan van der Merwe got a try in the first half. But it's not his day today. He's been uh, making some silly handling errors, not really getting over the advantage line, and uh, really being neutralized by the Sharks today. Dan Bigger has been solid for them at fly half, kicking nicely into space, getting that high kick, doing well under the high ball, and good in the defensive channel as well. Then Gareth Davis has been cleaning out the ball beautifully for. Uh, the Lions as well. There was times when he was put under pressure, but that is due to the pressure that the forwards are taking at the moment. Rory Sutherland, Jamie George, and Dash Furlong has been pretty solid in the front row. Um, Courtney Laws replaced Mario Doji for this game. He's had a little bit of a mixed bag as well. Johnny Hill hardly been noticed. Uh, Dash Burden has scored a try. He's valiant as ever um, and definitely vain for a starting berth in that uh, Lions uh, test uh, against the box. Amos Watson, on the other hand, a lot has been told about him, and I'm a big fan of him, but today he hasn't had the kind of impact that we would have wanted to see from him. 
He's not as vital at the breakdown as he was uh, coming from the bench last uh, on Wednesday. So I don't know, maybe having a little bit of an off day today is uh, Miss Watson and Jack, Jack Conan. Every time he's touched the ball, he's looked really good. So a lot of good uh, things from both sides in this one. But the, uh, the thing is just the uh, defense from both sides have been a little bit sloppy at times. And then uh, Marcel Salia says, uh, from here to score next. Uh, Ethan, what is your prediction then, Guru? So, yeah, the Sharks can play the way they played in the first half. Um, I'm expecting a close game, but oh, I can't see the Lions really losing this one. Although the poll at the moment, and I must uh, stress this fact, it hasn't been wrong over the course of the time. So 41% says uh, the Sharks are an upset at the moment. So, uh, yeah, my heart is saying the Sharks can do this, but they've, dis well, they've disappointed me so much in the past that I don't want to get my hopes up for the second half. So ask me again in 20 minutes' time, maybe, Ethan. Uh, I know the Sharks tend to give us hope and then just slip away completely in the second half. So hopefully they won't do that. Uh, we still got the Lions by 30, 29% uh, saying that will happen. 17% says the Lions by 20, and then 14% says the Lions by 10. So still a lot of grabs here as we get ready for the second half to get underway. But uh, I must say, I'm really impressed by the Sharks' side. And uh, I'm starting to wonder whether this, uh, some of these players, likes of um, Murray Costa and uh, Lionel Cronier, as well as Karen Van Fieren, Leroux Ruth, Sereniel Hiku, Dylan Richardson, um, Pilon Gumedi are not uh, first choice players for the Shark side. So uh, a lot of uh, headaches, uh, good headaches for Sean Everett in the next coming weeks if uh, he's going to be selecting some of these guys for the Carry Cup as well. Looking at the bench that we've got, Dan Uister, Majola Machuna, Timbalani Boli, Lovis Kutney, Cameron Wright, Britta Chamberlain, and Jeremy Ward can all make a difference. And especially maybe Dan Huester and Timbalani Bolli, along with Cameron Wright and Britta Chamberlain, could maybe have the sort of impact that we need in that uh, second half as well. Then Matt Havoc says Sharks could have led the half if they got that kick over. Well, both both players have missed a kick so far, uh, Matt Havoc, but I do think that, uh, yeah, there was a penalty as well that... Uh, Lionel Cronier missed as well. Nabil Stewart says, but this is a bad Lions team, I guess, forwards. Not really. If you if you look at the likes of this uh, forwards, Jamie George, Dutch Furlong, um, Dutch Byrne could all be starting the test against the Springboks. And, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> Albert makes it clear. Yeah, I don't want to be Lions change room right now. So the game is back underway, and it's taken in by Jack Conan here. For the Lions now inside the 22. And they will be looking to get this ball out quickly. Gareth Davis out it goes to touch Furlong. Still inside the round 22 now is uh, the Lions at the moment. Gareth Davis waiting for it at the back of this ruck. Is it going to go for himself? Yes, he is going to go with the box kick over the top. Chased down by Anthony Watson. Oh, and it's been knocked on by Pepsi Butelezi. And into touch as well. So decision time for the Lions now. Will they kick it or will they go for the lineup or will they go for the scrum? A bad knock on there from uh, Pepsi Butelezi and the Lions have decided to go with the lineup instead. Right, so throwing coming from Jamie George finds uh, Courtney Laws there and the mall has been formed by the Lions. Just outside the round 22 now, Jamie George controlling that ball, Gareth Davis. With the box kick over the top, chased down by Liam Williams and Anthony Watson. Knocked on by uh, Manus Nose. Yeah, the referee now pulling him back. Oh, first knockout from the Lions. So it's going to be a scrum down to the Sharks on halfway. So the referee taking his time to, to play those knock-ons. I think the Sharks might have got away with a few knock-ons in, uh, in that first half as well. So Liam Williams deemed to have knocked that ball on first. And Manus uh, Potfita second. So scrum down to the Sharks on halfway now. 
Right, uh, it is going to be Jaden Hendrickson to feed this ball to the scrum for the Sharks here. And uh, hopefully we can get something really good going from this. Right, scrum feed Jaden Hendrickson for the Sharks on halfway now. What can the Sharks do with this one? Right, the scrum is solid. And uh, Pepsi with Lezzy picks it up off the back. And he's going to have a run straight at Dan Bigger. Gets over the advantage line now. Jaden Hendrickson out to Kometi, but he's knocked it on, unfortunately. And it is going to be a uh, Lions uh, put into the scrum here. Kometi came at pace, and if he had that, he would have been straight through the middle. But unfortunately, just unable to hold on to that ball. Scrum down to the Lions on halfway now. We've had three minutes in the second half. And uh, the Lions now with a great attacking opportunity. Right, well, between the 10 and the halfway line inside their own half. Gareth Davis is going to feed this for the Lions. Zuka says uh, Mumpila is on fire. He's definitely the best forward of the Sharks in that first half. Right, Gareth Davis to feed this scrum for the Lions. Let's see what's going to happen with this one. Solid scrum here from both sides, not moving at all. Now Gareth Davis out to the right-hand side. Anthony Watson now in position up to the 10-meter line inside the Sharks half. The Sharks are keeping their meters here at the moment. Now Rory Sutherland up to the 10-meter line. Goes the lines right in the middle of the field now. There comes out Chris Harris to Jamie George. Brought down by Van Cock. Great tackle. Now it's Elliot Daly. Puts it to the boot. And it is caught here by... Uh, Lionel Cronier is going to put it to the boot and not going to find the distance that he needs. Well, it's actually uh, Murray Costa who kicked it. So, line out five meters out from the 22 for the Lions. And a chance now for the Lions to get uh, an attacking line out going here for them. Savage uh, Maverick has joined this high career. And then Jomba says, come on, Sharks. Ethan says, uh, Nabil will bring on that uh, iron route. <laughs> So Nabil says, yes, uh, Achilles. Right, the line out taken here. And uh, the Lions form them all just outside of 22 now of the Sharks. Can they get this mall going? They are still driving. And Jamie George has got it at the back of this mall. Still going forward as the Lions now up to the 22-meter line. Just inside the Sharks, 22 now. Still controlling this one. They're playing a little bit tighter now as the Lions. Will they resort to this sort of play against the box as well? Now Chris Harris out to Dan Bigger. Two on Van Oh, Anthony Foreman has intercepted it. And now Van Cock. Can he find support? Yes, he can. Murray Costa out to Lionel Kroniev on a 10 meter line. Inside the line's half. Can the Sharks get it back? No, they've lost it. It is now into the hands of uh, Dan Bigger for the uh, lines, but bundled into touch. And it is going to be a line out to the Sharks on the 10 meter line inside Lions territory. And now a bit of a scuffle here. From both teams, they don't like the way uh, the Lions play was taken into touch there. But great effort from the Sharks there. Great intercept from Anthony Fulbank. And nearly there was another chance here for the Sharks. Right. Uh, Lionel Cronier has been called by the referee as well as Gareth Davis. And they just shake on it and uh, make friends again. <laughs> Wayne Barnes having none of it at the moment. <laughs> right, uh, Nabil says, come on, Sharks. Lions are rattled, making mistakes. <clears throat> and Ethan says, rough them up. They are in South Africa, our house. Well, what an intercept from Anthony Foreman. Unfortunately, got a hold on just as he intercepted that. And from there, a great tackle from Chris Harris on uh, Lionel Cronier. The turnover came from the Lions. And then he got funneled into touch there by the Sharks. Liam Williams brought into that one. So the referee is going to go to the TMO for something here. The Sharks might be in trouble now. Yeah, he's going to have a look at something here, whether there will be foul play for a dangerous tackle from Jaden Hendricks uh, on uh, Liam Williams. It was uh, around the neck there as he got bundled into touch. So, oh, no. Jaden Hendrickson might be going off the field here. Shoulder to the head of uh, 
Liam Williams when they took him over the try line or over the touch line. And uh, was he aware of what he was doing, though? Yeah, no, that's going to be a... Oh, that could be a red card coming up for Jaden Hendrickson now. That is very silly from the scrum off. He's had such a great game in that first half. So unnecessary. Elbow to the head. And that should be a red card to uh, Jaden Hendrickson now. And that is a big, big shame here. Because this could change the the game completely. Kenneth Isaac. <clears throat> yeah, red card to Jaden Hendrickson. And he's off the field now. Penalty to the Lions. Silly, silly, silly uh, Jaden Hendrickson. Ethan says, uh, <laughs> crap referee. Barry says, uh, at least the yellow, or oh, come on, at least yellow. Nah, but Lions should have had a red in the first game versus the Lions. Nothing was given. Simmons. Victor still says, much better performance from the Sharks this time around. And uh, Ethan says, game over. Go kill the game. Yeah, unfortunately, these red cards tend to do that. And uh, yeah, it's just poor discipline from uh, Jaden Hendricks there. Nothing the ref could do about that. So line out on a 10-meter line inside the shop. So off now. Has it been knocked on here by the Lions? Uh, let's see what Wayne Barnes says from that line out. Uh, free kick to the Lions though. Courtney Law is going to take this up quickly. Now Tatch Furlong. Tackled by Karen Van Feeren. Tatch Burn. Out it goes to Jack Conan. Just short of the 22 now is the Lions. Pick up and go from Tatch Burn again. Uh, pick and go from Johnny Hill. The Lions now reverting to pick and goes, keeping it tight. Corey Stillen through the middle. He goes up to the 22-meter line. Does come back for the Lions again. Now, Gareth Davis out to the bigger Harris. Chris Harris tackled by Van Cock inside the 22 now. The Lions just keeping hold of this ball now. Tatch Burn puts his head down. Gareth Davis again waiting for it to come out. But Dylan Richardson is over that ball. But the referee penalizes Dylan Richardson, and it's going to be a penalty to the Lions again. And they are going to kick this into touch now, five meters out from the try line. Barry says it's going to be 20 minutes, 40 men. Any other player come on? No, it's not uh, Rainbow Cup rules. Barry he is off for the rest of the game, unfortunately. Well, oh, Ethan says uh, traditional rules, I think, off for the rest of the game. Yes, he is. So, Conor Murray now replacing Gareth Davis. And uh, with the score still 26 all, but the Lions now with an opportunity five meters out. And the Sharks now having a red card on, uh, or off the field as well. The lineup taken beautifully by the Lions. Now they're going to set up a mall again. They have scored a try from it before. The Sharks trying to push them to the side now. Jamie George breaks away. Still two meters out and a penalty advantage coming their way. Tatch Furlong, pick and go from him. Will the Lions get another try here? Pick and go from Jack Conan over in the corner and it's a try to the Lions. Right in the corner there. Jack Conan over for the Lions. And is this the start of the end now? Renzo Apolis asking who got a red card. It was uh, Jaden Hendricks at the scrum off and he just really left the referee, no option there with a shoulder straight to the head of the players in an off-field scuffle. Right, so try in the corner for Jack Conan for the Lions and uh, the Sharks now in trouble. <clears throat> uh, Ethan says, uh, just listening to <laughs> uh, Guru's commentary. Come on, Sharks, you can do this. Uh, well, that's the ball game, says just, just Jason. Yanni Hendrick says, come on, Sharks, you can do it. So hopefully they can still get something going in this game. Right, the conversion coming from uh, Dan Bigger now, and that is going to kill. Oh, it's going to hit the upright, so not over. It is uh, 31 points to 26 now to the Lions. We've still uh, eight minutes to go in this, well, eight minutes into the second half. Unfortunate uh, red card there to Jaden Hendricks, uh, really killing the vibe of the Sharks at the moment. Uh, Ethan says, here comes that 30 plus points difference now. Right, eight, nine minutes gone in the second half. It is uh, 31 points to 26. And uh, 
also on the field now is Cameron Wright, as well as uh, the number 20, who is on the field now for the Sharks. It looks like it is uh, Jean-Dre Lavascafni on the field as well. Right, so 31 minutes for the Sharks to do something here. That is says silly by number nine. Absolutely. Uh, Barry Green says at least five-point game. Maybe Sharks can get a try and lead. Right, so the restart here from Lionel Cronier goes deep inside at 22. Now taken by Elliot Daly. He's going to have a run and break straight through the defense of the Sharks. Almost up to the 10 meter line now. Will the floodgates now open up for the Lions? It is taken by Conor Murray out to Rory Sutherland. Almost up to the 10 meter line now. Conor Murray, Dan Bigger, out to Hermes Watson, cut up pass to Liam Williams, out to Duan van der Merwe on the right, on the left wing, bumps off to Keir Abrams, up to halfway, goes the Lions now. Conor Murray, out to Dan Bigger again, gets it out to uh, Jack Golden, straightening the line up to halfway. Now Conor Murray again, Dan Bigger, back inside to Jamie George, over halfway they go now, there's the Lions making plenty of meters now. Conor Murray out to Rory Sutherland, out to Dan Bigger, long cut out pass to Duan, Van der Merwe now, and here he comes. Beats the Kira Abrams on the outside. Beat uh, Cameron Wright as well. And, uh, oh, another penalty advantage might be coming now as uh, Cameron Wright tried to intercept that, but had no uh, thoughts of really getting that. But it goes into touch, and what's the call? Quickly thrown in by the Lions. Here comes Liam Williams out to Elliot Daly. Straightens the line, and over he goes for a try. Sharks caught napping the from that line out, quickly by the Lions, and they get the try now, and 36 to 26, the floodgates might be opening up now. Well, Nabil Stewart said the Lions needed something, and Hendricks gave it to them. So, yeah, that should be game all said and done here in this one. Sievoya uh, says, Ayeni, Sharks just blew it. And then uh, Arenzo says, Sharks, don't be foolish now. Show what South African teams can do. Go Sharks. And then Kenneth Isaac says, Sharks can still win it. And Pit Pompey says, Sharks have been battling in the second half in recent time. Ethan says, uh, well done, Jaden and Wayne. <laughs> to another man, it's uh, a great break, but Elliot Day gets it high. Has the Sharks gone to sleep in the second half is the question now. So definitely not what we are looking for at the start of the second half. And uh, Arthur Servdok says, quick card ruin a great game. Absolutely. Well, it is his own fault, unfortunately. It's not the referee's fault. And an index so that just made a really stupid attempt there. So uh, restart from Lionel Cronier, 38 to 26 now. And uh, can the Sharks still find a way back? Jack Kona now. From inside his own 22, he's going to run this to about five players inside their own 22 now. Connor Murray controlling the ball at the back of this ruck here. And, uh, oh, it's been charged down by Renil Hicho again. And now Van Gogh is going to score for the Sharks in the corner. What a true comeback from the Sharks. And Renil Hicho gets his second charge down in this game. And what a try. That's absolutely brilliant. So Vanekok in the corner for the Sharks, and the Sharks are back in this. 38 points to 31, with 12 minutes gone in the second half. Barry Green says, well, Sharks, this is your fault. Mess it up for yourself, and you just have to deal with the punishment. And Achilles says, nice, Sharkies. So a great charge down from Renil Hichu, picked up by Vanekok, and he goes in the corner. Connor Murray got caught there at the back. Great charge down from uh, Renil who beautifully picked up by Van Kock, and he had the pace to go in, in the corner. Minder says, Lions defense coach will be pissed off, shocking. And then LB uh, said, man, I missed the whole first half. Can't believe how close this game, especially with a man down. And then uh, Barry says, sorry, take back that comment. <laughs> right, the conversion from Lionel Cronier is going to go well to the left. So the score are now 38 points to 31. And uh, apparently Van Kock is down with a bit of cramp at the moment. But what a game he's had again. And René Lecho as well has been really good today. For some reason, Flashcore doesn't want to update when a Sharks score a try, it seems like. So 38 to 31. And now the reason 
Taken by the Lions here. The Sharks mess it up again. Start. And now the Lions can go on the attack again. Hamish Watson's got it. Just out of the 22 of the Sharks now. It's waiting for it as Chris Harris now for the ball to come out. And here it comes now, Tatch Furlong. He's going to try and put it down and uh, brought down quickly by Jean-Dre Labaskafni now. Out to Liam Williams, Tatch Furlong, Gordon in there. Dan Bigger gets it out to Anthony Watson. Here comes the Lions again. Elliot Daly. Elliot Daly is going to cut back inside. Maybe should have gone wide. But back to Conor Murray now, Dan Bigger. Out to Rory Sutherland. Just inside the 22 of the Sharks now. Connor Murray waiting for it, Dan Bigger. Dan Bigger hammered in the tackle by Jean-Dre Labaskakny again. Good defense from him. Just on the 22 now. Connor Murray out to Dutch Furlong. Gets it back and out to Johnny Hill. He offloaded to Jack Conan. Good defense from Foreman there and to Keir Abrams. Five meters out from the try line now. And it's Dutch Burn running into that ball. Now Hamish Watson gets it out to Jamie George. And it's a a try for the Lions. The Sharks can kick themselves for every time that they get a try. They give away a soft one just straight afterwards. So 41 points to 31 now, or 43 to 41. And the, the Lions are now looking to just break away. You're on the play asking who the scrum off is now. So Grant Williams is onto the field for the Sharks, I think. Although no, that's not Grant Williams. Um, let's see who the replacement is. Um, it is, well, Cameron Wright is on the field for the Sharks. So 43 to 31 with uh, 25 minutes to go in this game. A little bit of a mix from the Sharks. One moment great and the next moment poor in defense. The conversion from the Lions over 45 31 with 25 minutes to go in this game. Sharks, their worst enemy at the moment. Ethan says, so how can you how can you have no defense, honestly, like a game of basketball? Right, uh, Marcel Salia says, game is not over until the, final, uh, the whistle blows. Go Sharks. <laughs> End play says, I think forward pass from the Lions. Well, the referee didn't see that. And uh, here comes the Sharks with the kickoff now. Taken by uh, Sam Simmons, the replacement now on the field for the Lions. About 10 meters out from their own try line. Connor Murray waiting for it. Won't be making the same mistake this time around. Connor Murray waiting for it at the back of that uh, ruck now. Renil Hifu trying to charge that down again, but won't be successful this time around. Now into the hands of Anthony Foreman on uh, the 10 meter line, inside the line's half now. Can the Sharks come up with an attack themselves? It's taken by Richardson up to the 10 meter line now. Cameron White waiting for it to come out. Now Renee Hooker, there's space here for the shot. Puts it to the boot as Anthony Foreman straight into the hands of Connor Murray. And the Lions have got this ball back just outside the round 22 now. Why or why would you want to kick? Now Liam Williams. Out it goes to Dan Bigger. They're going to run this now. Elliot Daly. Now he goes to the boot this time round. Puts it on the boot. And into the hands of uh, Lionel Cronier now for the shot. He's going to have a run here. Gives it out to Takir Abrams, caught behind the advantage line. And now the Sharks in some serious trouble as well. It's been ripped by the Lions. And now Duan van der Merwe has got it. He's going to go and he's going to have a straight run down the middle up to just uh, outside the 22 now of the Sharks. Comes out to win Jones. Gives it out to Dan Bigger. Now Elliot Daly out wide to Liam Williams. They're running the Sharks to pieces. Now Anthony Watson cuts back inside. Good tackle there from a bot hitter. Picked up by Murray again. And now... Just five meters out is the Lions. Carl Sinclair now also on the field. Just waiting it for Courtney Laws. Good tackle from uh, Pepsi Butelezi. Pulling him back in the tackle now. Pick and go again here from the Lions now. They're just softening up the Sharks now. Pick and go again now from Wynn Jones for the Lions. Can it get there? Looks like they got it. Oh, just short is the Lions again. So waiting for that ball to come back is Connor Murray now. Just waiting on that ball to come. Gets it out to Dan Bigger. Dan Bigger back inside to Anthony Watson. And he gets the try for the Lions. 50 points on the board now for the Lions. Well, it is what it is. Uh, let's see in places. By the way, the ref is British. Um, 
Last, Terry Patton says last week was the Eris and Bosch. What that did the Sharks in this week, it is the defense. Lohan Free says, well done to Janet Hendrickson, costing the whole game for this team. Then Janet Hendrickson said, Springbok selectors must look at Renil Hecker. Then uh, Lulu Head says, Sharks are getting hammered again. Pete Pompey Stuan is having a great tour so far. Hope the box can burst this bubble. And then Ethan also, they will score as soon as they have their hands on the ball alliance. Every time, non-existent defense. And uh, Kenneth asking, why are we kicking the possession away? Really good question there. LB is, uh, was, this, was the game quite even with 15 versus 15? Well, it was half time, 26 all LB to suffer. So nine minutes into that second half, Jaden Hendrickson gave away the red card. And since then, this game has just opened up for the Lions completely. 52 points to 31. And Timberlani Bolly is on the field as well. 20 minutes to go in this game. And the Sharks are down and out now. Now they must be careful not to give away a record defeat now to the Lions. Because the defense have been really poor in the second half. Right. The restart taken by Johnny Hill now for the Lions. Just outside their own 22 now. Connor Murray has got it out. Gives it out to Courtney Laws. And the Sharks defense just uh, getting bumped over at the moment. Dan Bigger, Elliot Daly. Why did they go again? Out to Duan van der Merwe again now. Beats the first line of defense in Buddha Chamberlain. Now brought down by Van der Kock, who's been really a revelation in this line series so far. Now Wynn Jones up to the 10 meter line for the Lions. Can they all oh, penalty against the Sharks there? Timberlani, Polly penalized there for not rolling away. And uh, Dan Beger can hammer this downfield again. Right, Achilles says, uh, ref should not have given him a red card. The Lions already have an advantage. It's like they are scared, says Achilles. Well, rules are rules, unfortunately. And uh, it was his own stupid mistake, really. Such a great first half. And then just throwing it away with that red card is Jaden Hendricks. Uh, line out to the Lions, just outside of 22 now of the Sharks. Ken Owens to feed this ball to the lineup. Right, there they go to Johnny Hill. Was there a little knock on from him though? No, says the referee. Play on. Connor Murray has got it at the back here for the Lions again. Just outside the 22. Now another penalty against the Sharks now. And it's Majola who gets penalized this time around. Too bad. Very bad discipline. And. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, Vitland says, would, would it be a record defeat, Mr. Commentator? Very negative against the Sharks in your blue headset. Where are, where are the Bulls? Well, I'm actually a Shark supporter, Mike Land. So uh, I'm being critical because that's exactly what is happening here with the Sharks today. Uh, I mean, if if the Lions pull up an 80 point, it will be a record defeat, surely. Right, Marcel Celia says, no, the box will win. All the good players are there. Right, throw coming here for the Lions. Five meters up from the try line. Ken Owens to throw this ball in for the Lions. Comes back to Courtney Laws at the back now. Wynn Jones, he loops around and is going to run almost straight over the try line here. One meter short. Over the try line they go. Oh, they're short now. Yes, says the referee. It is going to be a scrum down to the Lions. Held up in a tackle. So it's going to be another scrum down. Five meters out from uh, the Sharks try line. Right, uh, Achilles says, you judge the Bokka for how the Sharks play, LOL. Different coaches, different plan styles, different leagues. Uh, Lulu says, I think if the box had proper prep time, it would be a different story. Let's hope Rossi has a master plan. Uh, Lulu had also, well, Neil Ho says, we thought the, we thought the same World Cup uh, LB the suffer uh, box play the best when they doubt it. It's the suffer way. And then uh, Akili says, uh, Mike, you know, Guru is a shark supporter. Albert Trita, I have more hope for the box after this game. Yeah, defensively, the Lions haven't been brilliant. So there's always hope for the spring box. Right, the, the scrum goes down and we have a reset here. So I think, could this be the first reset scrum of the game? The scrums have been that good today. Uh, Lodens on the answer, and uh, also uh, Dan Eustace on the field now for the Sharks. 
Neil Gauss says, uh, but it is the Lions' second team. Well, you never know. Some of these guys could be starting the test uh, series for the Lions. Who knows? We don't know what Warren Gatlin is uh, thinking at this stage. Right, scrum down five meters up from the try line, and it's Connor Murray to feed this one for the Lions. Free kick to the Lions, and it's Chris Harris taking it up for them. And over the, well, just short of the line now, they are Carl Sinclair putting his head down just short now. Dashburn and an easy try to the Lions again. 57 points to 31 it is now. <laughs> Pete Pompey says, uh, Shark second team two. And then Samuel Jones, uh, Bill definitely missing the Welsh wingers. I don't think Watson or Daly will be the test players. Now, of course, uh, we surely will be either um, Josh Adams and uh, Louis Rees Samet. <clears throat> but uh, Louis Rees Samet could make way for Duan van Merwe for that one. How much time is left? Uh, Barry asking this. There's around 15 minutes left. No. Oh, yeah, 15 minutes, give or take, in this game left. Kenneth Isaac says, the red card will cost us. Yeah, so it's a very unfortunate. 59 points to 31 now with 15 minutes to go in this game. The British and Irish Lions taking it to the next level now. Uh, Terry Patton also says, the red card has cost the Sharks the game. Um, LB says Samet has had an average tour, he won't start. Yeah, I think maybe uh, Duan will maybe start it, but who knows? Some more changes for the Sharks now as uh, Jonker replaced Costa. So the Sharks are allowed more replacements, it seems, for this game. I don't know why. <laughs> Tad uh, is pronounced T. Teach. Uh, well, <laughs> well. <laughs> It's one of those things, mind us. Uh, I'm not going to struggle with pronunciations today. Uh, Connor Murray takes it in now. And here comes Tom Curry now. Out to Dan Bigger. They're running this from their own trial line. Is the Lions now. Liam Williams out to Duan van der Merwe. Beats the Kira Abrams again on the inside. As well as for uh, Costa. And now Connor Murray out to win Jones. Dan Bigger. Out it goes to Chris Harris. Trying to loop around now. Elliot Daly. Out it goes to um, Sam Simmons. Caught on... Uh, the 22 meter line. Right, here they come again. Connor Murray back inside to Carl Sinclair now. Just outside of 22. Connor Murray, Dan Bigger again. Back inside it goes to Anthony Watson. And he's run straight through. Now he needs support. Gets it on the inside to Tom Curry. And Tom Curry is going to run all the way for another try to the British and Ice Lions. Yeah, it has now been what it is. The Another try to the British and Irish Lions. It is 64 points to 31 now. And here's that record score I'm talking about now. Tracy Harrington says, uh, thank you, Minders. As an Irish person, I shake my head regularly. <laughs> all right. Sorry about that, guys. But it's just one of those things. Uh, I can't get it all right, you know. <laughs> all right. But anyway, it is now 64 points to 31 and uh yeah it is uh, one of those things the sharks the uh, flat gates are now well and truly open at the moment right so conversion coming up from dan bigger now and uh it is 66 points to 31 now and uh, it's starting to look really bad for the sharks Great effort in that first half, keeping the score to 26 all. And uh, yeah, Mindless says the commentary is excellent. Good channel. Uh, cheers to you. Thank you, Mindless, for that one as well. Then uh, LB De Safa says, Lions leading 31 points from a second string club side. Uh, just to mind. Right, so 64-31, and we've got about uh, 12 or 13 minutes to go in the second half. Tie and gut is a very easy way, says uh, Tracy. Right, I'll try and improve on that one, guys. Right, the restart taken by Simmons now inside the 22 of the Lions. Taken by Connor Murray, gives it out to Tom Curry. And uh, Connor Murray, oh, he's been playing <clears throat> without the ball there from the ruck. And 
Lorenz Adrianza is the guy pin last day. And uh, not looking good for the Sharks. They're just giving everything away in this uh, second half. Right, so let's see where this is going to end up in the end. Mike Lang says, excuse me for the ignorant comment, but no, not a record defeat. Maybe last game was. Good job, bro. So, Mike, the thing is, if the... Well, how can I put this? Let me let me pull it up for you real quickly. Sharks versus Lions. Um, past results. And uh, let's see what the highest defeat will be. Um, can I get that up real quickly? Let's see if I can get that up for us. Let's see what the biggest defeat for the Sharks have been against the, the British and Irish Lions. While well, we've got that scrum that will be taking place. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh, my voice is starting to disappear on me here. So I can't seem to get uh, the results here. But the Sharks have now got possession. And here comes uh, Buta Chamberlain up to the 10 meter line now. Sharks are wanting to get this Cameron right out to Timbalani body and uh, on the 10 meter line now. Here they come again through, well, who's this replacement? There's some new guys on the field that I don't know. Buddha Chamberlain up to Dylan Richardson. Just over halfway are the Sharks at the moment and another penalty comes their way. And uh, <clears throat> the Sharks can put this into the corner from here with 10 minutes to go in this game. Right, Herman Potkitev says, uh, wow, shows you what a red card can uh, do to a game. And then probably Barry Green says, probably 54-7 highest loss against the Shark, uh, against the Lions. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, it could be that uh, 47-point victory of uh, Wednesday. But I could have sworn it was a one that was a little bit bigger. But regardless, uh, I'll take it back. It won't be a record defeat. Uh, Brian Benitez says, this in game indicates the difference between the international team and a semi-professional team. Now, come on, uh, the Sharks are a professional team, Brian. Right, so five meters out from the try line, and here comes the Sharks now on the attack. Oh, Brian, are you trying to get me back for that uh, comment I made on the Griquas? So another penalty to the Sharks, uh, five meters out from the try line now, and then you is going to, well, all the Sharks are going to go for touch here. It is going to be put that Chamberlain to... Put this into the corner now. Apple Pie is joining as well. Uh, how's it going, Apple Pie? And then uh, LB says, remember when the box used to hold up for the All Blacks to the slow game down and give time for our defense to reset. Looks like the Lions are doing the same. 2015 tactics at the moment. Right, another lineup for the Sharks, and then mauling this up now. Can we get another try going here? Another penalty advantage coming this way. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. So <laughs> I was watching the highlights there for a second. So Dan used to, to throw this in now for the Sharks. Taken by Rene Liku. Five minutes out from the try line. Here they come. Can the Sharks uh, do something with this one? Cameron White waiting for the ball at the back now. Gets it out to uh, the back line. Goes wide. Oh, sloppy passing from the Sharks. Foreman not able to get hold of that. And Takir Abrams needs to come back for it. But the Sharks are going to have... Yet another penalty all the way back. <laughs> Brian Benita says we quit now, Guru. Oh, that's, that's a good one, uh, Brian. It's fine. I'll take it on the chin, that one. Right, so with eight minutes to go, the Sharks with another penalty on five meters up from the try line. Matt Havoc says they should stop the match now. Uh, Pete Pompey says, Masao, if you subscribe, you will get a reminder. So, yeah, you will get one. But I think the next game we will be doing is on Wednesday. I'm just not sure. We'll have to go and look at that picture list. It's either the SAA side or the Stormers that they're playing on uh, Wednesday. Right, so a big driving ball again from the Sharks now. They need to force their way here for another try. Cameron Wright uh, needs to get this one out now for the Sharks. And he does so too. Now with the Chamberlain 
He's going to take it up for the Sharks now. Still about uh, seven meters out from the try line is the Sharks. Comes to Cameron Wright, and he goes with a stupid little kick over the top and beautifully collected by Dan Bigger there. So just a useless uh, kick from uh, Cameron Wright on that occasion. Right, but the Sharks do have another penalty, so I guess that's why he went with that little kick. Right, so let's see what's going to happen with this last uh, couple of minutes, six and a half minutes to go in this one. <laughs> Ethan says uh, Brian is like the guy who says up his plus four cards when uh, when playing Uno. Exactly, Ethan. <laughs> Right, so uh, let's see. Can the Sharks get one more try in this game and at least uh, let us feel better about the scoreline? Because we did give away 66 points in this one. Uh, Pete Pompey says they might even play the Sharks again. No, 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 no. We don't want another repeat of this one. Although the Sharks have tried valiantly. Still five minutes out now. Timberlani Bolly has got it for the Sharks. And... Uh, <clears throat> Can the Sharks get a try here? Pick and go from the Sharks to about two meters out. And now they go to the wide. They're Chamberlain with a cross kick. And again, just useless kicking from the Sharks here. Um, what is the referee now saying? Is it going to be a, a penalty to the Sharks again? Or has there a free kick been taken by Liam Williams? Not another penalty to the Sharks. And it looks like uh, we might be getting a yellow card soon or not. Why aren't you pulling out the yellow card? Because <laughs> uh, they've been infringing on the try line five times already. So surely there must be a yellow card somewhere. Right, uh, Albert Twitter says, uh, supposed to be SAA on Wednesday in Cape Town. That's the way I have it as well. But then I looked at it earlier and uh, the fixtures on Supersport said the Storm is on Wednesday. So I'll get that sorted out for us, and hopefully we'll well we'll definitely know by Monday uh, on the channel which one will be played. Right, so the Sharks coming again now with the driving mall. All the backline players have now joined in here, and they are driving their way close to the try line now, but it is held up by Burn there. And it looks like it is, yeah, the Lions have won that ball. It is going to be a scrum down to the Lions. Uh, on the five meter line inside uh, their own or on their own try line. Uh, Alexander Wademan says, I personally think the Sharks did well tonight. Uh, big improvement. There's a lot of work waiting for the Lions. Out of here, Ireland versus USA on shortly. Thanks for tuning in, Tracy. Really appreciate it. And then, Felix, I'm back from the last game. Right, so 66-31 it is, and uh, the Sharks have shown a much improved performance in this first half, but the second half, with that red card, has just killed the vibe of the Sharks' side. All the Lions just took it up a notch in that second half. I'm still not very much sure which one it is. But yeah, it is going to be a scrum feed now to the Lions, and it is going to be uh, Elliot Daly. So there is a yellow card. To the Lions, uh, it was uh, Conor Murray who got it. So, Elliot Daly will be the scrum off here. Yeah. Right, so controlling at the back, and it could be mocking a penalty now as the Lions. Now they do get it back. A little wobbly from him, and Liam Williams somehow gets uh, his way over up to the 10 meter line or 10 meters away from their own try line. Penalty to the Lions. The Sharks scrum just getting demolished there by the Lions on that occasion. Or what is it? Is there a TMO or a touch judge uh, report coming now? Achilles says, uh, Sharks actually did well. Just not on defense today. And I need to stop kicking as this is rugby, says Terry Patton. Yeah, it's like uh, Nigel Owens would say, guys, this is not soccer, this is rugby. Right, so... Let's just see what the referee did. is going to stick to the penalty to the Lions. And Dan Bigger is going to thump this downfield and find touch. Run about on the 10-meter line inside the Lions half. Phoenix uh, says, uh, come on, Sharkies. 
you're disappointing us at the moment. Still a valiant effort from them. Elliot Daly, six carries today, 69 meters made, seven defenders beaten, six gain line success. Uh, Kate Skuman says they did, uh, they did, they got people's hopes up, win and miss. And they also had high standards when it came to the Sharks. They shouldn't do like that. Right, so on the 10 meter line now, and it looks like the Lions are going to try and get a few more points on the board. It is now Sam Simmons straightening the line over the 10 meter line. Elliot Daly at scrum half waiting it for it. Carl Sinclair now brought down on the 10 meter line right in the middle of the field. Out wide goes the Lions now into the hands of Byrne. Byrne is going to take it up over the 10 meter line now for them. Elliot Daly out it goes to uh, Tom Curry just over the 10 meter line as the Lions now. Good defense from the Sharks this time around. Now Wynn Jones out to Dan Bigger, out to uh, Johnny Hill. Caught on the 10 meter line again and uh, comes back for the Lions. Now Dan Bigger out to Carl Sinclair, out to Anthony Watson. Straightens the line and straight through the middle goes Anthony Watson. Beats the last defender as well. Cameron Wright also handed off there and another try to Anthony Watson. And the 70 is up for the uh, Lions. Just a horrendous defense there again from the Sharks. And one must say, it is definitely the red card that messed up everything today. Achilles says, if I was a Shark supporter, I'd be proud of the Sharks. They showed that they can play well in that first half. But unfortunately, it's a game of two halves, uh, Achilles. And uh, say what you want. It's, uh, yeah, the Sharks lost the game, but it is what it is. Uh, a 70 pointer on the board for the Lions today, and uh, 71 31 just basically sums up the second half. Really poor defense and a, sh a tired shark side. Uh, Barry Green says this uh, score reminds me of when Japan and New Zealand played in 2018. Right, so 71 31 it is with uh, about 30 seconds left in this game. <clears throat> Great breakaway from Anthony Watson to score an absolutely amazing try for them. Um, Kate Skuman says, expected more seeing how they played them once before. I can't believe that I'm a Bulls fan fighting for the Sharks, says Achilles. And then, uh, to be honest, the Sharks would have not won the game, even with 15 men. Right, so with 10 seconds to go, the kick down field from the Lions. And uh, Anthony Foreman going back for that ball inside his 22. Gets it out to put that Chamberlain. He's going to try and run this. Is there a bit of space? Puts it to the boot again. And uh, just a useless kick from him again. Into the hands of Liam Williams on halfway. The Lions will have one more crack at this now. Adam Beard on the field as well for the Lions. Can I get it up now? Tom Curry out to Ken Owens. Ken Owens over the halfway line. Goes the Lions. Time is up on the clock. So Buniaki now taking it up for him. Just uh, short of the 10 meter line. Now Johnny Hill. Johnny Hill over the 10 meter line he goes. Tries to get the little miracle pass away, but not going to get it. But a penalty to the Lions, any case. So will they have one more go at it? 71 to 31 at the moment. Uh, <laughs> Big Pompey says, I have to go bright. Thanks for the game. See you guys next time. No problem, guys. Uh, Stefan Engelbrecht says, uh, Storm is going to lose with 100. And then Achilles says, enjoy my captain. So although the Sharks lost, I'm so proud of them. And I will still be a Sharks supporter. Regardless, no problem. Yeah, no, of course. Uh, we will never back down from the Sharks. So, yeah, that is full time here at uh, Loftus First Fell. The Lions 71, the Sharks 31. And... Uh, a valiant effort at the end from the Sharks. Uh, probably not, still not good enough. 40 points difference. And uh, they had to do it with 14 men in the second half. So a lot of points brought in in the second half. Actually, the Lions scored more than the 40 minutes in that second half. So unfortunately, not good enough, but a good effort from the boys. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. Barry um, says, uh, well, uh, uh Achilles says, uh, Guru, are you going to do Ireland USA? No, Achilles, I think that I'm going to call it a day. Uh, it is around 8 o'clock, so unfortunately I won't have time for the Ireland USA game as well. 
But th thank you for joining in for today's stream, guys. Um, I really appreciate the support as well. And then until next time, guys, this is the Rugby Guru.